Lucas Media. So, former superstar high school basketball phenom Mikey Williams last week decommitted from the University of Memphis, which shocked everybody. Mikey, who has yet to play a a game due to some uh, charges that he had from a situation that happened last spring in uh, his hometown of San Diego, California, he hasn't been able to play, and he had to get those. He had to get that cleared up. He was arrested April thirteenth of last year, and uh, he was charged. We were six felony gun charges, but he ended up getting it, getting out, and having a plea deal. He pleaded guilty to one charge, and um, his jail. Well, he's going to be sentenced next later on this summer. However. It's going to be reduced to a misdemeanor if he does uh, by taking classes, community service, all that good stuff. Well, he never got a chance to play at the University of Memphis, which everybody was anticipating due to him playing for Coach Penny Hardaway, him and his high school teammate, J.J. Taylor. Well, Memphis never cleared him. They was in the process of it, and Mikey ends up decommitting from University of uh, Memphis and enters the transfer portal. Now, just a couple of days after entering the transfer portal, he commits to the University of Central Florida, which is located down there in, in Orlando, which shocked the basketball world. Now, I did some research. They are in the, the Big 12 and their head coach, Johnny Dawkins, played for Duke University. So he's under the Mike Krzyzewski umbrella. Now, a lot of people was com comparing him to Imani Bates. And here's my thoughts on really all of this. I'm just glad that Mike could get a chance to play. It's crazy because in eighth, when he was in eighth grade, people thought he was sure he was going to make the NBA at some point. And at, and at this moment, his stock has dropped and... A lot of his peers have passed him up, but luckily he has a second chance. Now, what he can do with this is you go to University of Central Florida, you play a year. Now, Mikey is already 19 years old. He'll be 20 in June, so he'll be an older redshirt freshman if he don't play this year. But he's going to have to go there for at least a year or two. So next year, he'll be 21 if he enters the NBA draft, which is fine. And, you know, worst comes to worst, he can still get an education. Now, he had all these endorsements with Puma and everything else. So I'm sure he still has money saved up. But if he wants to make it to the NBA, which he still does, and people are rooting for him, he still has a shot. Now, Mikey, if you, if you watch this video, be careful out here, man. You make mistakes. I got... I got a daughter that's his age. I got a son that's a little bit younger than him and a middle daughter that's about to be 18. Mikey, man, be careful out here, bro. And the people that's around him, they need to watch him. You know, look out for him. He should not even be accused of anything in those situations. Yeah, his stock had already dropped, but people was anticipating that. And he lost the millions of dollars from Puma and every other endorsement. And now he has this bad cloud over him. Now, he could always rebrand his image. I, shout out to Juice May Hoops and D. Rich. I've seen their video. He could rebrand his image. It's going to take some time, like, like with Imani Bates. And he can still be a, hopefully, a second-round pick. Not in this draft, but in next year's draft. So, it'd be the 2025 draft. And it's okay. I mean, I'm not compared to Michael Jordan, but... Remember back in the day, Jordan went at 21. A lot of players went older. That will give him time to develop, mature. Um, UCF, they they just upset Kansas. He he can learn under Coach Dawkins. So he still has a chance. It's on him, though. He can't make no more mistakes. I don't think he will, but he can't afford it anymore. And I really hope that we all learn a lesson from this. When you, and it, I get it, it's hard. He was a young kid, but like his father and stuff around him, right? Like my son goes to, and my daughter, 
my two youngest kids, they go to this powerhouse football and basketball program down here in Georgia, and they're usually ranked in the country. However, you have to keep people level-headed because just because you the man in high school don't mean you'll be the man in college. Just because you're the man in college don't mean you'll be the man in the NBA. And even for the people who make it to the NBA, it's only a small amount of people that stay in the NBA and dominate in the NBA, i.e. the whole Sebastian Telfair, Stephon Marbury situation. So I just really hope that he learns from this. Mikey, I'm telling you, man, it's on you moving forward. But I get it. You young, you make mistakes. But the first time is, the, it, you know, first time is a mistake. The second time is your fault. So I just want to get my, my, my quick two thoughts on it. What do y'all think?